Well, good evening and welcome to the UWSP at Wausau campus and something different for you tonight on Zaleski Sports. It's the JUCO Championship in Division Three college basketball in the state as the UWSP Wausau Huskies host the UW Oshkosh Fond du Lac Falcons. And for those maybe not familiar, it was a few years ago that the two-year campuses, a number of the two-year campuses in the state were absorbed by their four-year brethren and for the UWMC campus here in Wausau, they became part of UW-Stevens Point. And for the campus in Fond du Lac, that two-year campus became part of UW-Oshkosh. And tonight, Junior College Championship basketball being played right here. Both of these teams with nice records coming in. Wausau 10-3 and overall, Fond du Lac 11-5. The Huskies own a couple of wins over Fond du Lac this season in the regular season, winning back on January 9th, 91-70 down in Fond du Lac and topping the Falcons back on January 30th here in Wausau by a score of 81 to 60. The Falcons certainly have the height advantage. They've got a couple of players listed at 6'8 and 6'7. Tallest player on the Wausau squad is 6'4, but for fans of high school basketball here in central Wisconsin, they'll recognize a lot of names on this Husky squad. Lots of players from Merrill, Wausau East, Wausau West, and a couple from the Northwoods, one from Rib Lake, one from Winter, but uh, a lot of familiar names, and we'll get to those starting lineups in just a bit. Our game day sponsors brought to you by Era Pancakes, Merrill Iron and Steel, and Jamie Schley, American Family Insurance. Also by Nicolay Bank, offering personal banking at its best. They've got locations in Stevens Point, Wausau, Colby, Medford, Edgar, and Merrill. You can learn more at NicolayBank.com. Let's take a listen to the national anthem before we get the starting lineups and the opening tip here tonight. Our game being brought to you in part tonight by Elite Auto Care is where Schofield, Weston, and Wausau turn for local family-owned auto service you can trust. For all major and minor repairs on both foreign and domestic vehicles, look to Elite Auto Care, Schofield Avenue in Schofield. Let's take a look at the starting lineups for tonight's game. First of all, for the Fond du Lac Falcons, it'll be Mason Ellis, a 6'2 junior from De Pere, averaging 18 points a game. Arius Smith, a 6'1 sophomore from Milwaukee, averaging 18.4 points per contest. Dominique Carr, a 6'2 junior from Milwaukee. Prince Robinson, a 6'1 sophomore from Chicago. And James Randolph, 6'7 junior from Milwaukee, averaging 17.6 a game, 10.3 rebounds a game. And he'll be somebody that the Huskies will have to really contend with here tonight. Falcons are coached by Dom Fister in his second year at the helm of this team. For the Huskies, it'll be Levi Ewan, a six foot junior from Rib Lake. Ewan coming in averaging over 18 points a game for the Huskies. Isaac Sutton, a six one sophomore from Merrill. Max Helke, six four sophomore from Wausau West. Ryan Lassert, 5'11 sophomore from Wausau East. Lassert coming in averaging 14.3 a game. And Chase Bennell, 6'3 junior from Merrill. Bennell 
the leading scorer for the Huskies, coming in averaging 24 and a half points and seven rebounds a game for the Huskies. Huskies are coached by longtime head man Bill Gibbs. His 33rd year coaching junior college basketball in the state and his 23rd year at the helm here at UWSP Wassa. For an old-time Wassa guy, used to calling it UWMC. I'll have to catch myself at least once tonight, I know. And this is coming from a former pointer. Now the pointer is, of course, the head campus for UWSP Wassa. And I'm told that you can now get a degree, a four-year degree from here. In the old days, of course, it was a two-year campus, as were a number of other campuses around the state. All right, we're ready to go. It'll be James Randolph who will jump it up against Chase Bunnell. Actually against Sutton. And Bunnell will grab the tip. And the Huskies will have the first possession. Ewan brings it into the front court, hands it off to Helke. Will cert now right wing off a screen. Three ball launch. Banked in. Ewan banks in a three to start, and the Huskies jump out on top three to nothing. Falcons with it. They're going to launch a long three. That's going to be short. Offensive rebound, though. And a feed and down the lane, up and in. Mason Ellis gets the hoop after missing the three on the offensive rebound by Randolph. Falcons set up a trap. Huskies break it, get it into the front court. lacert has got it now outside the arc. Hands it off to Helke. Thought about the drive, backs it out. High post Sutton feeding Lassert. Lassert yo-yos the dribble top of the key. Step back, wanted to take the three. Good defense by the Falcons, denied it. Now a mid-range two is up, no good. Ewan missed that look. And the Falcons with the rebound back the other way they come. Way outside the arc, Mason Ellis. Gives it left wing, Arius Smith. He wants to drive in the paint, stops, kicks it back outside. Now they'll kick it back to the top of the key. Drive in, shot put up. That's going to be short. And, oh, offensive rebound kept alive and a putback up and in by the Falcons. So their height causing problems here in the early going for the Huskies. A couple of offensive rebounds and putbacks. Huskies break the pressure this time. They kick it outside, Lassert. Left wing, Ewan wants to drive, now feeds it in the paint. Triple team comes, ball knocked away and stolen. First turnover of the game. As it was Sutton who got his pocket pick. Three ball, short, no good. Another offensive board, another offensive putback. Randolph got the offensive putback on the three-point miss. And they are using their height advantage here. Three ball launch, right wing for the Huskies, up and in. Helke knocks down a three from the corner. We're tied at six. So the Huskies, two baskets, three balls, and all of the points for the Falcons are inside. Three baskets. Operating Prince Robinson, he's going to launch and hit. Now a long pass, goes out of bounds, last touched. Oh, they're going to say it was tipped. Huskies are going to have it. Tried a long pass to break the pressure, and it went out of bounds. But Lassert will have it on the dribble, gets a screen. Lassert, right wing. Ewan down low. Chase Bunnell turns, kicks it back outside. Ewan, stutter step dribble. They get it to the wing, wide open, three ball launched. In and out. That was three quarters of the way down for Helke, and it came out. Back the other way. They swing it around the perimeter. Three ball launch. That's going to be off the mark, and it's going to be an over the back foul. Called on Prince Robinson going for the rebound. Huskies will have it, non shooting foul. Our game brought to you in part tonight by Mutual of Wausau Insurance, protecting homes, farms, and businesses since 1875. Visit mutualofwausau.com to find an agent near you. Huskies break the pressure easily, get it into the front court. Top of the key, Sutton. Hands it off. No, fake the handoff to Lassert, keeps it. Now it's Bunnell. 
Chase Bunnell thought about the three. He's going to put it on the floor, crosses over, kicks it outside. They drive in, feed it in the paint to Bunnell. Double team comes, he gets it down low to Sutton, puts it up and in. Isaac Sutton gets the basket, and it's 8-8. They drive in, kick it back outside, passing up the three. Floater put up, that's no good. Bunnell with the rebound, out on the break. They get it out to Sutton, he's going to attack the basket, puts it up, no but a foul, and he'll go to the line. Huskies in transition, get the ball to Isaac Sutton, he draws a foul and he'll get a couple of free throws here. Culligan Water, one of our great sponsors, get Culligan Water for only $9.95 a month for the first three months. Visit Sterling Culligan Water at CulliganH2O.com. First free throw for Isaac Sutton is up and in. He'll get one more. Huskies have the lead here, 9-8. That's up and in. He got them both. 10-8. Falcons attacking in transition and off the free throw, and they get a layup. Arius Smith tied at 10. Huskies into the front court, avoiding the double-team trap at half court. Lassert on the dribble, gets a screen pick and roll. They get it to Bunnell off the glass. It rolled off, no good. Offensive rebound, though, and in the traveling violation. Sutton got the offensive board, but traveled. That was a great pick and roll. Everything except Bunnell finishing at the basket. And the Huskies putting on full court pressure here. Area Smith in the back court. Kicks it to the wing. Three ball launch from the corner, short, no good. Huskies with the rebound on the miss by Robinson. They get it ahead. Chase Bunnell down low, Sutton turns, spin, nice spin move off the glass, up and in. Isaac Sutton's got six. Got the feed from Bunnell inside, 12-10 Huskies. Front court, Mason Ellis gives it off. Smith's got it now. Smith. Now the ball stripped by Lassert, goes out of bounds. Last touch by Ryan Lassert. Falcons will keep it. Falcons will look to inbound it here. 14.56 to play first half. 12-10, Huskies with the lead. They get it to the wing. Turn around, shot put up and in by... Aiden Westermeyer gets the hoop. Mason Ellis that was. Now a three ball up and in for Ewan. His second three of the night. Falcons front court, 15-12, Huskies by three. Off a screen, step back three. Too long, no good. Rebound kept alive and it's grabbed by the Falcons. Bounce pass inside, spin move, shot put up, no but a foul. And it'll be Arius Smith who will be at the line to shoot two here. Chase Bunnell picked up the foul, his first. Whitetail Properties, one of our great sponsors for the best in recreational hunting or hunting properties in Wisconsin. Call Brian Roosh with Whitetail Properties. Just share your goals. Brian can tell you where and how to make it a reality. 715-213-4468. That's 715-213-4468. First free throw for Smith was good. He'll get one more. That's up and in. He got them both. 15-14, one point advantage for Wausau. Sutton hands it off. Three ball launch by Ewan again. A little short that time. And the rebound grabbed by the Falcons. Looking to take the lead. Three ball from the corner. That's short, no good. The rebound was loose and comes away to Bunnell. They want to attack the basket. Floater put up by Ewan, up and in. Levi Ewan gets the hoop. He's got eight, 17-14. Mason Ellis, front court. There's a drive to the basket. A little Euro step off the glass up and in for Mason Ellis. 
17-16, one point game once again, and Huskies turn it over. They weren't ready for the pass. Falcons will look to take the lead again here. They'll pass it back out and reset. Big screen, pick and roll to the basket, shot put up and in. James Randolph gets the hoop and we're gonna get a timeout called by the Huskies. 13.02 to play, 18-17 Falcons back in a moment. You're watching Juco College Championship Basketball on Zaleski Sports. When buying or selling land, the biggest decision you make is choosing your representation. Whitetail Properties is the top real estate company for selling hunting land, recreational properties, and farms. Our nationwide network of sportsmen, farmers, and investors offers a great opportunity for you to capitalize on the true market value of your property. In central Wisconsin, Brian Roosh is your local land specialist and is ready to help you get started on all of your property needs. I really got to understand what, <clears throat> what a nurse is. Do they, do they focus on you? You know, do they make sure that you're comfortable? And, you know, that's what Chai has. It's the connection that he has, you know, my best interest in mind, always. Why wait another day? Let's take the next step together towards a better life. Tom King back here at UW Stevens Point Wausau campus on the west side next to Marathon Park. And it's JUCO Championship Basketball tonight. UW Oshkosh Fond du Lac leading the Huskies 18-17. Huskies will have the basketball out of the timeout. And it'll be Ryan Lacerda who will bring it ahead. Top of the key, Chase Bunnell. Bunnell looking inside. Puts it on the floor, gets it to the wing. Ewan, nice move, goes to the basket, splits two defenders, pass goes right through the hands of Sutton, and they turn it over for the fourth time. They had everything they wanted right there for a layup. Now the Falcons attack, get it now back outside. That's twice the Huskies haven't finished at the basket. In a close ball game, those points will come back to haunt. Here's a drive, good defense, and a traveling violation. But L cut, cut off the lane that time, and Fond du Lac turns it over for the first time on the travel. Huskies get it back here. And they get it in. Ewan will bring it ahead. Levi Ewan, double team comes, he gets rid of it. Lassert passed up the three at the free throw line. Sutton bobbles it again, gives it to Lassert. Step back. They're coming out to play a much taller player. Now Lassert, step back three, got it! Ryan Lassert, his first shot of the night is a step back three, and he nailed it from the top of the key, 19-18. Drive the other way in transition, shot put up, no. Rebound kept alive that time by Ewan on the miss by Randolph. Lacerte's going to attack, pull up jumper from the free throw line. That's off, no good. Sutton skies for the rebound, puts it up and in. Isaac Sutton with an offensive board and a putback, and it's 21-18 Huskies. Falcons will slow it down as they bring it into the front court. Mason Ellis nearly threw it over the head of Arius Smith. He gets it down low to Randolph. They kick it back out. Smith gets it back. Drive in, nearly lost the handle on it. Long three ball launch, that's gonna be an air ball for Mason Ellis. And the Huskies get it back here with 11-12 to play in the half. And we get a substitution here. It'll be Fox Klein in for the Huskies. Freshman from Wausau East. Lassert will bring it into the front court. Right wing, that's Klein. Gives it off to Bunnell. Bunnell's gonna drive in, leans in, shot block, goes out of bounds, it'll remain Husky basketball. Good crowd here tonight for this one. Fond du Lac traveled well, a lot of Husky fans here as well. Assert right corner, 
Puts it on the floor, drives in with the left hand, double team comes, he spins up and under, up and in. Nice move for Ryan Lassert in the paint. Now Lassert's gonna get a reach in foul in the back court. Non-shooting foul. Haven't been too many fouls in the game so far. That's just the second team foul on Wasson. Fond du Lac's got two as well. And it'll be Arius Smith into the front court for the Falcons. Crosses over, now dribbles back outside. Long two ball is up and in. Prince Robinson knocks down the long two. 23-20 Huskies. Ewan wants to drive, pushed off, got away with it. Now he didn't get away with it, they caught it. Ewan pushed off with his off arm and he's gonna get the foul. That was pretty clear right in front of the official. Kind of hard to miss that one. And it'll be Falcons basketball. Smith into the front court. Gives it off. Dominique Carr with the basketball. Gives it off. Robinson's gonna shoot another long two. That's short, but now with the rebound. Long pass ahead. Max Helke, top of the key to Ewan. Step back, thought about the three, got his man in the air, drives, lost the handle on it, and it comes away to the Falcons. Fifth turnover on the Huskies. In transition, shot put up and off, no good. And Bunnell gets the rebound on the miss. Back the other way, three ball launched by Ewan. A little short, no good. Fox Klein with the put back, up and in. Offensive rebound kept alive and Fox Klein grabbed it and put it up and in. Falcons with it. And they hand it off. Dominique Carr, Carr. Long three ball launched. That's too long, no good. The miss by Ian Yops. And back the other way, stutter step, dribble, assert. Nice move, then fed Klein, his shot blocked. Ball goes out of bounds, it should be, yeah, it should be Husky basketball. So Ewan looks to get it in. And he'll throw it outside. Ryan Lassert. Lassert on the dribble. He wants to drive with the left hand. A little scoop shot up and in. And a foul. Ryan Lassert taking his man off the dribble that time. Got the hoop and the foul. And he'll get a chance for a three-point play here. He's got seven points on the night. Express Employment, one of our great sponsors. Find your next career path with just a phone call to Express Employment professionals with locations in Wausau, Stevens Point, and Marshfield. No matter where you are in central Wisconsin, save yourself some time. Find your next employer at ExpressPros.com. Time out on the floor. We'll be right back. You're watching College Basketball on Zaleski Sports. Now more than ever, it's crucial for your business to be able to ship your products safely and efficiently, both near and far. Purple Mountain Solutions is your local specialist for logistics and supply chain management in both public and private sectors. Bringing years of leadership, excellent attention to detail, and a dedication to the job at hand is what keeps Purple Mountain Solutions the leader in transportation, logistics, supply chain management, and warehousing. Get your products right where they need to be and put your trust in a business you can trust. Purple Mountain Solutions. Mid-State Technical College. You belong here. Start your classes and get your degree right here or transfer to your four-year. Mid-State Technical College. You belong here. In person at four convenient campuses, online or a hybrid. Mid-State Technical College. You belong here for your career accelerator certificate. A quick way to get ahead in your career. Mid-State Technical College. You belong here. Register to start this fall. Get started at mstc.edu. Mid-State Mid Technical, Technical College. College. You, you belong, belong here. here. Tom King back here at UW-Stevens Point, Wausau, the Husky Dome, where the Huskies have gone off to a seven-point lead here, 27-20. Ryan Lassert's going to be at the free-throw line to try to convert the three-point play. Lassert, three out of four from the field with seven points so far tonight. Free-throw is up and in. 28-20. Full court pressure applied. 
Avoiding it, Mason Ellis into the front court. Gives it off to Prince Robinson. Robinson to area Smith. Smith, double team comes, he gets rid of it. Robinson backs out the dribble. Smith's going to launch a three. That's going to be off the mark. Rebound is grabbed by James Randolph. He puts it up and in. He's got six all inside. 28-22. Huskies break the pressure. Ewan wants to drive. Explodes to the basket. Little finger roll. No, but a foul, and he'll go to the line. These Husky guards showing a big burst out on top. Both Lassert and Ewan can get to the basket, it seems like, every time off the dribble. And that time it was Levi Ewan who got to the hoop, draws the foul. He'll get two shots here. Stone Innovations, their winter blitz sale still going on. With the purchase of a new countertop, get a free installed stainless steel sink or 10% off tile, backsplash, and labor. Check out the discounts on flooring as well. The winter blitz offer only at Stone Innovations. Ewan hits both free throws. 30 to 22, eight point advantage once again. Here comes the double team. Falcons avoid it, they get it to the wing. Three ball launch from there, up and in. Ian Yops hits the three. Yops, sophomore from Milwaukee, 30 to 25. Huskies break the trap, Bunnell ahead. Ewan thought about the three, now he drives a little floater on the baseline, up and in. Ewan is uh, scoring over 18 a game, and he's having a big night so far here tonight as well. 7.36 to play first half. Falcons with it. Now bounce pass inside, goes off a leg. Falcons get it back. They loft it down low to Randolph, kicks it back outside. Another three for Yops. That's off the rim, no good. Bunnell pulls away the rebound. He gets it ahead. Ewan's going to drive, feeds it to Klein. Double team comes, he's got to get rid of it, lost the handle on it, able to get it back to Helke. Helke loses his foot and goes down, three ball launched. Too short, no good for Ewan. They had a chance, they had the ball inside that time, and once again, couldn't finish at the rim. Here's a drive, pass to Randolph, shot put up, no, might have been partially blocked. Huskies with the rebound, back and forth basketball. Bunnell to the wing, Lassert, head fake. Shot on the baseline, up and in. Ryan Lassert knocks down another one on the left baseline. It's 34-25. Huskies are not cowed by this height advantage that Fond du Lac has. They beat the Falcons twice in the regular season. Area Smith kicks it back outside. Now they bounce pass it inside to Randolph. He turns, shoots over a triple team. No, wanted a foul, didn't get it. Huskies with the rebound. They get it ahead. Ewan to the basket, up and in. Once again, in transition. And Fond du Lac wants a timeout. 36-25, the Huskies have exploded here. And they lead big, 6-14 to play in the first half. Back in a moment, you're watching high school college basketball. Make that college basketball on Zaleski Sports. At the Granite Shop, we take great pride in what we do. We offer high quality natural stone granite as well as a huge selection of man-made stone. With full slabs as well as a variety of partial remnants, you'll have no problem finding the stone that was meant for you. Our high-end, high quality granite, quartz, and marble is perfect for any kitchen, bathroom, or remodel need. We are locally owned and operated on County Road C near Stratford. We service all of Wisconsin. Tom King back here at the Husky Dome at UW-Stevens Point, Wausau. Our game brought to you in part by Foundation Finance. Now is your chance to work with a company that really understands growth. Foundation Finance Company has grown every year since they started in 2012 with great full-time and part-time positions. Start a job making the money you need with flexible scheduling, a close-knit, fun-loving group with full-time benefits that start on day one. Learn more at foundationfinance.com. What are we going to have here? We had a whistle and a stoppage of play. I think there was a problem with the clock. I don't think the clock started. Now they'll inbound it. Now we've got it. Area Smith on the dribble. Kicks it to the wing. Yops for three again. Got another one. Going to come out, have to come out and guard him. He's two for four from range. 36-28. Ewan wanted to drive off the double team. Instead gives it off. They get it to Bunnell in the lane. Goes in. Off the glass. Left it short. And the rebound grabbed by the Falcons. Bunnell chased 
challenged at the basket. They've kept him in check so far tonight. He's 0 for 3. Here's a three ball launch. That's up and in. Aria Smith knocks down a three and just like that, Falcons back in it. They get it ahead to Bunnell. He puts it on the floor, drives in, spin move up and in and out, no good. Falcons with the rebound. They've cut it to five and they've got the ball back. Three ball launched. Dominique Carr, that's no good. Offensive rebound though grabbed. That's Ashton Spencer in the game. Another three, that's no good. Another offensive board. They'll get another look at it. One of the uh, Falcons tying his shoe. They were going to pass the ball to him on the wing, and he was tying his shoe. Now he gets the ball back. That's Aria Smith. Step back three. Got it. Three consecutive three-pointers for the Falcons that put them right back in it. They were down 11. Now it's a two-point game, 36-34. 9-0 run here. Lacert with it. You can hear the, or you can maybe feel the Fond du Lac fans stomping on the bleachers where our camera is located. They kick it to the wing. Lacert for three. Short, no good. Long rebound is going to be run down, saved by Helke. There's a drive by Ewan. Throws it up with the left hand, up and in. Tough shot. He was defended well and got it to go. 38-34, four-point game, 418 to play first half. Area Smith with Lassert on him. Smith, spin move, shoots from the elbow, back bracket no good. Bunnell with the rebound. Bunnell brings it into the front court. They give it off to Ewan. Levi Ewan played his high school ball at Rib Lake, and he's lighting it up here tonight. Here's a three ball launch. That's going to be short for Fox Klein. Falcons with the rebound. Into the hands of Yops. They come out to play him now after he's hit some threes. Now another three ball launch. Dominique Carr, that's no good. Had an offensive or a foul over the back. Battling for that rebound. That's Ashton Spencer who picks up the foul. We really have not had very many fouls here in this game so far. Just four team fouls for Fond du Lac, three for the Huskies. And Lassert's going to walk it ahead. Bill Gibbs hasn't gone very deep on his bench. Here's a drive by Bunnell off the glass, up and in. There you go. He gets off the schneid. Chase Bunnell with his first bucket of the night. Six-point game again, 40-34. to 34. Mason Ellis on the dribble. There's a drive. Kick it outside. Mason Ellis again. Good defense by Ewan. There's a three ball launch. That's going to be off the mark. Long rebound grabbed by Ewan. He wants to push. Now he'll slow it down. Ewan picked up his dribble. Got bumped. They let him play on. Lassert's got it. Lassert drives in the paint, kicks it outside. Ewan wanted to shoot a three instead to the wing, now down low. But Bunnell's got it, backs in. Ball taken away, a lot of contact there. They let him play on. Falcons attack. Shot put up, feed though, nice feed. Spencer avoids the offensive foul, feeds Prince Robinson. They get the hoop, 40-36, to four-point game, 2.22 to play. First half. Lassert, front court. To Bunnell, Ewan, puts it on the floor, spin move, shot, turn around from the free throw line, he got it. Levi Ewan having a big first half. 42-36. El Ellis drives in, it's got to be an offensive foul indeed, it was. And that was Ewan who took the charge there as well for Mason Ellis. Huskies get it back. I've only got... Two turnovers for Fond du Lac. That's just their second turnover right there. Substitution, Randolph's going to come back in. The 6'7 player from Milwaukee, averaging over 17 a game. He's got six so far tonight. Lassert's going to walk it ahead as we go under two minutes to play in the half. Lassert gives it off Bunnell, top of the key. Looks for a cutter, a lot of contact. Bunnell kicks it back outside. Lassert's going to put it on the floor to the free throw line. Pulls up, shoots, and hits. 
Ryan with cert. Knocks down another one. 44-36, and they've rebuilt the advantage to eight. They led by as much as 11. Drive to the hoop shot, put up no. Rebound grabbed by Ewan, and he gets fouled from behind in the back court. And that's going to be bonus time now. Should be bonus now. It's going to be one and one for Ewan. He's going to go to the line and shoot. Arius Smith talking to the official about that foul. Wanted a foul on the drive, didn't get it. And then committed the foul when Ewan was coming back the other way. So Levi Ewan hits, or will hit, uh, get, get a one and one here. First one's on the way, up and in. Ewan may get close to his average in the first half in this game. 46-36, 10-point game. Falcons were down 11, pulled to within two, and now the Huskies have gone back up by double digits. Step back three for Smith, that's no good. Ewan with a rebound. Ewan wants to attack the basket, kicks it to the wing, three ball for Helke, that's gonna be too long, no good. And now in transition back the other way, Randolph with the Euro step. No, left it short. But now with the rebound, gets it quickly ahead to Ewan. He's going to shoot a three. That's no good. Offensive rebound, though, for Helke. Ball gets knocked away. He gets it back. Inside, shot put up. Going to be a blocking foul called. Going to the basket was Isaac Sutton, who's back in the game. The ops thought he drew an offensive charge there. Instead, they call the block. And free throws coming here for Isaac Sutton. Forty-three seconds remaining here in the first half. First free throw is up and in. Forty-seven thirty-six. They've built the lead back to eleven. Second one's on the way. Short, no good. Rebound though, tipped. And grabbed by Max Helke. Helke, his pass is knocked away, though. And now attacking the basket. Carr feeds Smith. Shot put up. Off the rim, no good. Offensive rebound, no but a foul. And it'll be Aiden Camacho who will go to the free throw line and shoot two here for the Falcons. Foul's going to be called on Ryan Lassert. That's his second. Let's see if Bill Gibbs wants to get him out of the game here. He will, looks like. First free throw for Camacho is up and in his first point of the night. It's going to be Nick Rosh, 5'10 freshman from Wausau West, who will come into the game for Ryan Lassert. Lassert, first break of the night. That's probably a good one. Gives him an extra 30 seconds or so rest before halftime. Second free throw coming here for Aiden Camacho. He got them both. 47-38, see if the Huskies want to play for one here. 28 seconds remaining in the half. It's going to be Ewan's just going to dribble out near half court and let the clock work down. Looks like the Falcons are going to let him do it. 15 seconds. They're going to let Ewan go one-on-one -on -one here and see if he can find an open man. He's going to drive, step back. He's going to shoot a three. Might have been partially blocked. Offensive rebound, and that's blocked out of bounds. Huskies will have it with 2.6 seconds to play. Rosh rebounded that miss. Ewan had his shot partially blocked. See if they can get a shot away here. They throw the pass over the head of Bunnell, and the clock... The buzzer sounded. There's two tenths of a second left on the clock. So they're going to have, they're going to talk about it, and the Falcons make it a chance to inbound. They're going to put five. No, that's not right. They put five seconds back on the clock. There were only 2.9 seconds when they inbounded the basketball. So that's certainly not right. Let's see what they're talking about here. How much time they would put back on the, on the clock and give the Falcons a chance to inbound it here. The ball went out of bounds off the hands of Bunnell on the long pass. 
That's the eighth turnover. There can't be five seconds left. They're only, how does that work? They're, there you go, 2.6. That's still, I don't know, three-tenths of a second. That's all that went off on that pass. It went the length of the court. So they inbound it. They're going to be able to get a shot away here. This is good if it goes. It's going to be off the backboard. No good. And the first half comes to an end. And a nine-point advantage here for the Huskies. They lead it in this D3 JUCO championship matchup, 47-38. We'll take a timeout, come back, give you the numbers from the first half. After this, you're watching college basketball on Zaleski Sports. Grassland Dairy Products is your match for an exciting new career today. Go to grassland.com to see the opportunities waiting for you. Browse through careers like CDL truck driver, shipping and receiving, line tech, quality assurance, forklift, maintenance tech, inventory associates, and more. Great compensation, weekly pay, and zero premium company paid health, dental, and life. Apply now at grassland.com or in person at Grassland Dairy Products, Fairground Avenue, just south of Greenwood. Elite Auto Care is a family-owned business providing top-notch car care to the Schofield, Weston, and Wausau area. They deliver honest and professional automotive repair and maintenance services with quality ASE certified technicians that you can trust. Elite Auto Care offers the latest technology and is equipped to handle all major and minor repairs on both foreign and domestic vehicles. From general maintenance, air conditioning and brakes to exhaust, axle repair, tires, or just a simple oil change, turn to Elite Auto Care, your local family-owned auto business on Schofield Avenue in Schofield. At Nicolet Bank, we believe that our hometown communities are the backbone of what makes Wisconsin special. From Crivets to Manitowoc and Algoma to Grand Chute, you see a thriving community with Nicolet Bank working as a partner, acting not as a corporation, but a community. When we serve together with local entrepreneurs and leaders, great things happen. That is our guiding principle. A strong and successful hometown means a strong and successful Wisconsin. We are proud to be a part of that. Nicolet Bank. Real people. Real conversations. At Bauer & Fine Business Technologies in Marshfield, our company has been serving Central Wisconsin since 1955. We're still locally owned and believe strongly in supporting the communities that support us. If you're a current customer, thank you. If you're not a current customer, we'd love to work with you. Let's talk about copiers, printers, postage meters, and network services. Give us a call today at 800-288-2712 or visit our website at b-bt.com. Bauer & Fine Business Technologies. Better business together. We said we're growing, and we are. Come join the Crystal Finishing family. We're looking for experienced industrial maintenance mechanics, CNC fabricators, all driver positions for our freight team, as well as skilled and general production. We know the importance of a work and life balance. Our shift options and flexible schedules set us apart. Our pay ranges from $17 to $43 per hour, depending on your skill level. We're proud to be a family-owned company that is committed to our community, team members, and the growth of our business. Call or jump on our website to learn more. Tom King back here at UW-Stevens Point, Wausau. The JUCO D3 JUCO Championship for the state of Wisconsin being played here tonight. And the UW-Stevens Point, Wausau Huskies leading the UW-Oshkosh Fond du Lac Falcons 47-38. For Fond du Lac, balanced scoring attack led by Arius Smith. He's got 12, the only player in double figures for Fond du Lac. Four for Mason Ellis, two for Aiden Camacho, six for Ian Yops, a couple of three balls. Dominique Carr has five, including a three-pointer. Prince Robinson has seven, and six points for James Randolph. 17 of 42 from the field and four of four from the line for the Falcons. They only turned the ball over two times in that first half. For the Huskies, Levi Ewan is having a huge night. He's came into the game averaging a little over 18 points a game. He's already got 20 tonight in the first half, including a couple of three-pointers. 12 points for Ryan Lassert, including a three-pointer. Nine for Isaac Sutton, two for Fox Klein, three for Max Helke, two for Chase Bunnell. 18 of 35 for the Huskies from the field, eight of eight from the foul line. They turned the ball over eight times. And if you would have told Coach Bill Gibbs that Chase Bunnell would have two points at halftime and his team would be leading 47-38. I think he would be surprised, but he would certainly take it. And uh, Levi, uh, Levi Ewan has picked up the slack here tonight, in at least in this first half, with 20 points 
on the night so far. Our game brought to you in part by Purple Mountain Solutions, your business's go-to for both public and private warehousing and product delivery. Whatever it is you're shipping, you know you can depend on Purple Mountain Solutions to get it there safely and efficiently. And also by Stewart Optical. Check out Stewart Optical at Union Station on Wausau's west side for all of your eye care and eyewear needs. Open five days a week with amazing monthly specials and instant savings on contact lenses. Most insurance plans are accepted. Schedule your exam now at Stewart Optical. We'll take a break, come back with more. It's halftime, and the Huskies lead it here 47-38. You're watching College Basketball on Zaleski Sports.
Seamless, without holes, faults, or interruption. The shape of transformation. Seamless unites experience with insight. Seamless is CLA. Putting seamless into practice to help you reach unsummited heights. CLA, the seamless experience. Culligan Water delivers from your first call to your first sip to your first soak. Culligan, give us a tap. The only water that comes with a van. You know better oh. when you see it. One, two, three. But sometimes it's a little harder to tell what better looks like. And you could use a little help. Thanks, Mom. Security Health Plan. Everything you need in a health plan. Everything you'd expect from a good neighbor. Tom King back here at the UW Stevens Point Wausau gymnasium the husky dome if you will we're at halftime of this juco championship game between fond du lac and wausau wausau leading 47 38 they've done a great defensive job on a couple of the big scorers for fond du lac mason ellis coming into this game averaging 18 points a game he's only got four and james randolph the six seven player coming in averaging over 17 a game he's got six now, Fond du Lac's done a good defensive job on Chase Bunnell. He's only got two on one of five shooting, but Levi Ewan has picked up the slack. Ewan coming into the game averaging 18 a game, and he's got 20 already tonight. And what's funny is if you go back to the last time these two teams met on January 30th, Bunnell had 33 in the game, and Ewan only had eight. So you never know how it's going to turn out if one guy gets hot. And uh, so far tonight it's been Le Levi Ewan. Let's see if he can continue that in the second half. Thanks to our game day sponsors tonight, Era Pancakes uh, in the Rib Mountain, Merrill, Iron and Steel, and the Jamie Schley American Family Agency. Also, Auto Select of Weston, located on Schofield Avenue in Weston. They've been providing dependable vehicle repair service and tires for 22 years with a three-year nationwide warranty and free roadside assistance at Auto Select. You're good to go. That's Auto Select on Schofield Avenue in Weston. Fond du Lac's going to have the ball to start the second half. Starting lineups back out on the floor here. And they'll get it in to Mason Ellis, who will bring it into the front court. Ellis gets a screen. Still on the dribble. Double team comes. He kicks it outside. They pass up the three this time. Smith, they're looking inside for Randolph. Instead, they launch a three. That's too long. No good. Ball goes out of bounds. Last touch, though, by Isaac Sutton. And Fond du Lac will keep it. So Ellis will look to inbound it here. And they get it in. Dominique Carr back outside. Smith. Area Smith wants to drive. Pull up jumper at the free throw line. He was being pressured. Air ball out of bounds. It'll be Husky basketball. Falcons are going to put on that trap in the backcourt. Huskies have had no problem with it so far. Ewan still in the back court with it. Draws the double team. Gets the ball to Lassert. Into the front court with it. Sutton has it right wing. Bunnell high post. Hands it off. Open three for Ewan. He got it. Stayed hot here to begin the second half. He's got 23 now. 50 to 38. 12 point game. Down the lane goes Ellis. Hangs in the air. Missed the shot. The ball goes out of bounds. Last touch by Chase Bunnell. And it'll be Falcon basketball. Bunnell saying Ellis touched it last, but the referee said it went off Bunnell's arm. Ellis gets it in. Carr's going to launch a three. In and out, no good, and Sutton pulls away the rebound. In transition, quickly, they get it ahead. Bunnell hangs in the air. It rolls off, no good. He can't buy one inside tonight. Falcons quickly back the other way. Carr down low. 
Tough matchup now. Sutton will knock the ball away from Randolph, who gets it back. Randolph's going to put it on, and he drives in. They're going to get a blocking foul called on Sutton. Randolph is going to get free throws here. Sutton stopped the first drive by Randolph, but then Randolph got the ball back, and Sutton gets called for the block. And it'll be James Randolph at the line to shoot two here with 18.35, second half just underway. And the first one's up and in. Fleet Farm, one of our great sponsors, head into Fleet Farm and get big savings on Milwaukee tools. Check out their selection of tool kits and tool storage options and save up to $200. Get everything you need in one stop. Get it all at Fleet Farm. Second foul shot up and in for Randolph. He's got eight points, 50 to 40, 10-point game once again. Huskies break the pressure. Lassert's going to take it to the basket. Off the glass, up and in. Ryan Lassert has 14. Smith breaks the pressure, gets it ahead to Carr. They loft it down to Randolph on the baseline, feeds a cutter. Nobody picked up Prince Robinson. He went right down the lane, laid it up and in. That was way too easy. But now backcourt throws it ahead, gets it to Ewan. Ewan puts it on the floor, steps back, shoots a two, in and out, no good. Rebound grabbed by the Falcons. They want to run. Got a man behind the defense, but they got back and stopped Dominique Carr, now a shot put up by Randolph. That rolled off. Another offensive rebound grabbed by Carr. Inside to Randolph. Kicks it outside. On the floor. Pull up. They feed it to Randolph again. We're going to get a whistle and a foul. Oh, they're going to call the foul on Isaac Sutton. He and Randolph got tangled up. Randolph went down, so they call the foul on Sutton. That's going to be his second non-shooting foul. Falcons will inbound it here. They're looking to get it into Randolph. They throw it all the way out to the outside. It's pretty obvious what they want to do here in this second half. Fond du Lac, they want to get the ball into the big guy inside if they can and use their height advantage. Here's a pull-up jumper on the baseline. That's no good. Ewan pulls away the rebound. Ewan front court, top of the key. Thought about the three, picked up his dribble. Now Bunnell, ball knocked out of his hands. Another turnover. And ahead of the pack, it's going to be Carr. He's going to lay it off the glass, up and in. Okay. 52-44. They better hurry now to get it across half court. Helke ahead to Lassert. Lassert finally gets it across the timeline. Lassert on the dribble. Bunnell's got it, left wing. Hands it off. Ewan. Sees an opening, drives in. There's a lot of contact there. He got the hoop. Boy, a lot of contact as he split those two defenders. They let it go. Ewan gets the basket. 54-44. Carr's going to drive, throw up a floater, up and in. Dominique Carr has nine points on the night. 54-46. Back and forth, up and down basketball here. Ewan, front court. Levi Ewan, crossover dribble, drives in, gets stripped, and they're going to call a travel. Split two defenders got tied up. And traveling the call, that's the 10th turnover on the Huskies. And we're going to get a timeout here. We'll take one as well. Back in a moment, you're watching College Basketball on Zaleski Sports. Thank you for helping Abbey Bank become the most highly recommended community bank. Thank you to all of our customers for helping us be successful. Thank you for putting your trust in us. Thank you for your loyalty. Thank you for helping us support our communities. We are grateful for customers like you. Thank you to all of our customers. We hope to see you soon. Tom King back here at UW-Stevens Point Wausau's Husky Dome. Crystal Finishing System is one of our great sponsors, a family-owned business now hiring for both their Weston and Mosin E locations, openings in manufacturing, fabrication, management, customer service, and so much more. Join the Crystal Finishing team. Learn more at crystalfinishing.com. Falcons have the basketball out of the timeout. Huskies lead it by eight. Arius Smith on the dribble. Smith getting a scream from the big guy, Randolph, now kicks it back outside. Carr. They get it off. Prince Robinson's going to drive. Feeds a cutter inside. That's Ellis. And they get him the basket. 
He walked the tightrope. Now a double team comes. Ewan's going to get tied up. Somehow got rid of it. Oh, and now a pass knocked away. They had. They were trying to get it inside. The pass knocked away. Falcons get it back. Three ball launch from the wing. Short, no good. Ball goes out of bounds. It will remain Falcon basketball. Bill Gibbs has to be concerned with the way his team is protecting the basketball tonight. They've got 11 turnovers to just two for the Falcons. Mondelak inbounds it. Now they get it down low to Randolph. The big guy backs in, feeds a cutter. That's going to be a layup. Mason Ellis came in. The double team came to Randolph, and he gave it up. And Ellis got the layup. 54-50, back to a four-point game. Lassert front court. Once again, the Huskies beat Fond du Lac twice this year in the regular season. This game is for all the marbles, the state JUCO championship in D3. Lassert drives, left hand partially blocked, left it short. Falcons back the way. Shot put up and in, in transition. Prince Robinson and the Falcons on a run here have cut it to two. Now Helke in the back court. Gets rid of it, Lassert feeds it, Sutton. To Bunnell, puts it up, no but a foul, and he's going to get two shots. Foul's going to be called on Randolph. He got Randolph up in the air. And it's going to be Chase Bunnell at the free throw line to shoot two here. The Fond du Lac crowd has been awakened by this run. The bench as well. First free throw for Bunnell, rattles around and in. He'll get one more, 55-52 Huskies. Second one on the way, that rattled around and in. Got them both. And we get a timeout on the floor, we'll take one as well. Four point lead for the Huskies here. Back in a moment, you're watching college basketball on Zaleski Sports. Culligan Water delivers from your first call to your first sip to your first soak. Culligan, give us a tap. The only water that comes with a van. I'm Jamie Schley. As your American Family Insurance agent, I'm looking out for what matters to you even when nothing is wrong. Give me a call or stop by our new office location and let's talk about your insurance needs today. What Heartland Farms is, is a large potato and vegetable operation. Uh, who Heartland Farms is, is a group of hardworking, dedicated people who have a common vision. Heartland Farms is an, is an accumulation of individuals who came from family farm backgrounds, grew up on family farms, and now have come together as one larger team to uh, own and manage a much larger farm enterprise. And we're back here. 56-52, Huskies with the lead, 14-43 to go. Both teams shooting very well tonight. Problem with the, the Huskies have had, even with the lead, they've turned the ball over 11 times. They gotta clean that up here, down the stretch. It allowed the Falcons to get back into this thing. Twice the Huskies have had double digit leads and twice they disappeared with the Falcons cutting it down to two both times. It's a four point game right now. Area Smith wants to drive, jump stop in the lane, shot's gonna be short. Offensive rebound again, stripped though, and Helke gets a pass ahead. Ewan's gonna grab it, spin move off the glass, up and in! Holy cow! Levi Ewan, spin move, avoided the travel and got it off the glass, up and in, in transition. That was, I think, Helke who got him the basketball. Left wing, they get it back outside. Mason Ellis, now three ball down low to Randolph. That's a tough matchup, but missed again. Now another offensive rebound. Nobody blocked out Dominique Carr. And he slid right in there and got the uh, offensive rebound. Left-handed jumper up and in, no. In and out, no good. Fox Klein with the rebound for the Huskies. That was a miss by Prince Robinson. Back the other way. Lassert. Explodes on the baseline, kicks it to the wing, extra pass, Ewan for three, got it! 
Levi Ewan keeps lighting it up here tonight. 61-52. 30 points for Ewan coming in, averaging 18 a game. He's got 30 so far. We've got over 13 minutes left in the game. Drive to the hoop, and that's going to be an overlay. Another shot missed. Another offensive rebound, though, and then Robinson gets tied up, but they're going to call a foul on the floor. Klein's going to pick up the foul as he tried to tie up Robinson. They're going to call uh, that a non-shooting foul, so it's going to be uh, the Falcons to inbound it here. They're going to have to clean some sweat off the floor where one of the players fell down. Levi Ewan, Rib Lake grad, has 30 tonight so far. They changed that foul. No, they get they gave it to Fox Klein. I thought. I don't think they changed it. Falcons inbound it. Now they get it down low to Randolph. Turn shoots over the top of Bunnell and missed it. Another offensive rebound, though. They're not blocking now. Prince Robinson got in for an offensive rebound. That's happening too many times here. Now Ewan trying to avoid the double team. Now he's tied up in the backcourt. Reach in foul is going to be called. They got Prince Robinson on the reach in there as the double team. Had Ewan in trouble in the backcourt. Non-shooting foul. Huskies will inbound it. They get it into Lassert, and he'll bring it ahead. Ryan Lassert on the dribble. Right wing, Fox Klein. Now out on top. That's Helke. Helke puts it on the floor. Gives it off. Bunnell bumped hard. They let him play on. Outside to Lassert. Lassert bumped hard again. They let him play on. Pass to the wing. Ewan's going to drive in, feed a cutter. That's Klein, puts it up. Oh, in and out, no good. Got the zone rebound and a foul call underneath. Fox Klein missed the shot, got his own rebound and uh, drew the foul. Foul was called on Aria Smith, I think. Now shot put up, and they're going to call it travel. But L went up, came down with the basketball. He wanted to say the ball got knocked out of his hands. Are they going to? They're going to. They're going to talk about it here. He went up for a shot. The ball was blocked, and he's going to say that he bobbled the ball as he went up, so it shouldn't be a traveling call. It is going to be a jump ball call, and the Huskies will keep it on the possession arrow. 12 26 to play, 61 54, seven point advantage for the Huskies here. They get it in to Lassert, left wing. Helke's got it. Ewan, left wing. Operating on Smith. Puts it on the floor, hands it off to Lassert. He's open for three. Got it! Bottom of the net! Ryan Lassert, his second three of the night. 64-54, back to a 10-point game. Now they're going to run a little weave on top. Smith's going to drive in, double team, kicks it to the wing, three ball launched. That's off, no good, another offensive rebound, but a block by Bunnell, and they get it back. Nobody blocked out once again as Dominique Carr slid in to try to get the rebound, but his shot was blocked. Down to the hole, Ewan shot blocked out of bounds. Randolph with a big block out of bounds. Rand Randolph's getting a bit frustrated. He's got eight points tonight, but he's being uh, handled pretty well inside, at least so far, despite his size advantage. Helke inside to Bunnell. Bunnell spins, puts up a shot with the left hand, got it to go over the front of the rim for Chase Bunnell. 66-54. Mason Ellis, left wing, and now we're going to get a timeout call by Fond du Lac, and we'll take one as well. Back in a moment, you're watching College Basketball on Zaleski Sports. Nasonville Dairy, family owned and operated, bringing you fresh cheese curds made daily, along with many other varieties of Wisconsin made cheeses and treats. Don't forget to check out our cheese and sausage trays for your upcoming parties and cheese and sausage gift packages for the holiday season or any other special occasion. Nasonville Dairy, located just southwest of Marshfield on US Highway 10, nasonvilledairy.com. 
When buying or selling land, the biggest decision you make is choosing your representation. Whitetail Properties is the top real estate company for selling hunting land, recreational properties, and farms. Our nationwide network of sportsmen, farmers, and investors offers a great opportunity for you to capitalize on the true market value of your property. In central Wisconsin, Brian Roosh is your local land specialist and is ready to help you get started on all of your property needs. Tom King back here at the Husky Dome, UW-Stevens Point, Wausau campus. Huskies leading 66-54 in this D3 JUCO championship game. Our game brought to you in part by Ag Country Farm Credit Services, a farmer-owned co-op offering a wide array of custom financing and financial services. From loans and leases to crop insurance and tax and records, they have you covered. Contact Ag Country in Stevens Point, Wausau, Marshfield, and Medford. Fond du Lac will have the basketball out of the timeout. Area Smith looks like he's going to be the one to inbound it here. On the floor for the Huskies, it's Bunnell, Ewan, Isaac Sutton, Fox Klein, and Ryan Lassert. Mason Ellis picked up his dribble. High post. They try to get it to Randolph. He's looking for somebody underneath. They get it to the wing to Carr. Pass inside to Ellis. Double team comes. He gets rid of it. Back outside. Carr passed up the three. They get it to the wing to Robinson. Back outside to Carr. Here's a three ball launch. That's going to be short. And Bunnell pulls away the rebound. And he'll slow things down. They boxed out that time. A lot of contact on that pick out on top. They let him play on. Klein out on top. He's not going to take the three from out there. Gives it off to Sutton, right wing. Lassert's got it between the circles. Puts it on the floor with the left hand. Nice head fake. Shot put up. Tough shot. No. Rebound grab. Lassert puts it up and in. Nobody blocked out. And Ryan Lassert gets the putback of his own miss. Klein kept that alive as Lassert got knocked out of bounds. Here's a drive into the paint. They kick it to the wing. Wide open three for Prince Robinson. Line drive. That's no good. And uh, make that Fox Klein with the rebound. Ewan front court. 68-54, a little distance now for the Huskies in this one, but they've let two double-digit leads escape. Lacerda a long three, that's going to be short. And the long rebound comes away. Falcons want to attack, and now we're going to get a foul called on Chase Bunnell. That'll be his second non-shooting foul. Falcons will inbound it here as Ashton Spencer comes into the game for the Falcons. 6'5", freshman from Reedsburg. They'll get it in. Dominique Carr outside now. Smith gives it off. Mason Ellis wants to drive. Instead, kicks it to the wing. Prince Robinson drives into the paint. Up with the right hand. No. Bunnell with the rebound. Nice box out that time. As the shots are starting not to fall here for the Falcons. Ewan into the front court. Gives it off to Lassert. Down low to Bunnell. Spins on the baseline. Spins again. Off with the left hand. Up and in. Chase Bunnell has eight now in the game. 70 to 54. Area Smith gets a screen. Stutter step dribble outside to Ellis. Ellis is going to drive. Jump stop. Puts it up and in. Mason Ellis with the hoop. He's got 10. 70 to 56. Now a bad pass and a steal. Ellis is going to get a layup on the other end. Once again, the turnovers, that's 12. They've cut them down here in the second half, but that was just a lazy pass. And a turnover gives the Falcons a layup. They're going to let them get back into this thing with passes like that. Instead, they break the pressure this time. Sutton picked up his dribble now, gives it off to Ewan. Ewan's going to launch a long three. Too hard, no good. Offensive rebound. I don't think you want to settle for that. Especially with a big lead. Now rebound, drive. Shot put up by Robinson. No. Offensive rebound by Spencer. Puts it up. Missed it. And Lassert pulls away the rebound. Back the other way. Lassert's with it. In the paint. Feeds it to Bunnell. Hangs in the air. No. Rebound comes away to the Falcons. Back the other way they come. They get it to the wing. Carr down low. Pass back outside to Ellis. Here's a three ball by Carr. Off the rim, no good. 
Rebound goes out of bounds. It was last touched by Sutton, and the Falcons will keep it. Aiden Camacho coming into the game for the Falcons. Bill Gibbs hasn't gone to his bench too deeply here tonight. Starters have got a lot of minutes. Now a pass inside. Somebody lost Ashton Spencer, and he got a layup. That was just somebody wasn't ready for that, and Spencer was wide open, and he got a layup. Down to 10 points now for the lead for the Huskies. Lassert explodes into the front court. Left-handed dribble. Still on the dribble. Down low now to Sutton. Sutton backing in, turns, leans in off the glass, got it to go. Isaac Sutton's got 11. 72-60, back to a 12-point advantage. Ellis, top of the key to Smith. Smith's going to drive, kick it to the wing. Camacho to the free throw line, spins back outside to Smith. He puts it on the floor, nearly lost the handle on it. On the baseline, feeds it inside, shot put up, a lot of contact. They let him play on. Another offensive rebound, though, grabbed. Now they get it inside. Spencer, his shot blocked. Sutton pulls away the rebound. They're getting some opportunities in the paint, Fond du Lac is, and not being able to get him down. Now Ewan kicks it outside to Lassert. Bounce pass down low to Fond. He found a Bunnell, who missed, got his own rebound, put it up and in. Chase Bunnell, 74-60. Now back the other way in transition. Yes, and a foul. Dominique Carr running the floor in transition, got the hoop and drew the foul. He'll have a chance for a three-point play here. Foul was called on, let's see who they got that foul. The foul was going to be called on Fox Klein. That's his second. Helke's going to come back in for the Huskies. Nick Rosh back in as well. Lassert's going to get a breather. Free throw over the front of the rim and in for Dominique Carr. 74-63, 11-point game. Ewan wants to attack the basket, little floater in the lane. Off the rim, no good. Falcons with the rebound. They quickly attack in transition. Now Huskies get back on defense. Smith wants to explode in the lane, kicks it to the wing. Wide open three for Camacho. Got it, bottom of the net for Aiden Camacho. Wide open look. 74-66. Falcons aren't going away. 6-21 to play. Eight-point game. Double team in the backcourt. They get it ahead. Helke gives it off to Ewan. Bill Gibbs calling for movement on the sideline. He wants his players to cut. No standing around. Bunnell gets it to the wing. Ewan puts it on the floor. Splits two defenders outside. Rush. Now they get it to Helke in the corner. Step back three over two defenders. Got it. Max Helke, second three-pointer of the game. He had two defenders out of that time. He was able to elevate and get it up and in. 77-66, Huskies. Smith wants to drive. Kicks it to the wing. Camacho on the dribble. Hands it off. Dominique Carr. Carr to Smith. Smith crosses over. Kicks it to the wing. Carr puts it on the floor. Throws up a floater. And we're going to get an offensive foul call. Carr shot it and then came right down on top of the defender. I think that was Nick Rosh who took that charge. Second foul on Carr. Huskies have it. 5.27 to play. They lead it by 11. Division three JUCO state championship game. This is the end of the season, nowhere to go after this. This is for all the marbles here. Genrick. Bunnell's got it, he's gonna drive, spins off the left hand, up and in. Chase Bunnell puts it up and in. Back the other way come the Falcons, they get it to the wing, Carr. Outside, Mason Ellis launches, that's short. And the rebound grabbed by Lassert. He's going to feed it to Rosh, and they're going to get, I think, a traveling violation on Nick Rosh down the lane. 13th turnover on the Huskies. Let's 
So the Falcons will have it in the front court. Mason Ellis, Rosh comes out to play him. Ellis is going to drive down the lane, throws it off the glass, up and in. Mason Ellis taking his man off the dribble that time and got to the rim, laid it up and in. Somebody's got to help on that. Not give him a straight line to the basket. Back court again. Huskies in trouble. We're going to get a timeout call by Bill Gibbs as they were in danger of a 10-second call right there. We'll keep it right here. I can tell you that Heartland Farms is one of our great sponsors. Nobody knows potatoes in Wisconsin quite like Heartland Farms with roots in Amherst and now based in Hancock. This fifth-generation potato and vegetable farm produces many varieties of chipping potatoes and currently farms 27,000 acres and growing. Learn more about the best in the potato business at heartland.farm. That's heartland.farm. Also, Imperial Industries. When you join the team at Imperial, you're joining a family. They're the leading manufacturer of welded tanks and silos, along with vacuum tanks and trucks. Apply today to take advantage of an extensive benefits package, competitive pay, and a family atmosphere. That's Imperial Industries. Our game day sponsors today, Era Pancakes in Rib Mountain, Merrill Iron and Steel, and the Jamie Schley American Family Insurance Agency. 4.28 4.28 to play in this one, 79-68, Huskies with the lead, and they have the basketball. Nick Rosh will inbound it, out there with Lassert, Helke, Sutton, and Bunnell. Lassert, front court, gives it off to Rosh. Puts it on the floor, drives in, double team comes, he gets rid of it, Bunnell right wing. He wants to operate. Spin move, double spin, turn, shoots, and hits. Chase Bunnell warming up a little bit. After only two points in the first half, he's having a good second half here. Here's Ellis going to the basket again. Tries a reverse. That's no good. Bunnell with the rebound. Ellis a little bit out of control that time. Rosh going to the basket. Lays it up and in. Nobody stopped. Nick Rosh going right to the hoop. His first basket of the night. 83-68 with 3.45 to play. Bonilak running out of time here. Ellis with it. Carr thought about the three. They get it to the wing. Baseline jumper up. That's short. Lassert with the rebound. They want to push. They get it ahead. Helke lost the handle on it. Now knocked out of bounds. Last touch by Fond du Lac. Huskies will keep it. Levi Ewan's going to come back in after a short break. And Sutton will take a breather. So Lassert will look to get it in here. He gets it into Ewan. Looks inside, looking for a pick from Bunnell. Ewan goes right down the lane, throws up a floater, too hard, no good. Falcons with the rebound. Get that close to the basket, you want to finish if you can. Cross court pass, three ball launched. That's short, no good. Offensive rebound again, Carr feeds it inside. They get it to the corner. That was Z Evans in the game for the first time, taking that three ball that missed. Ellis is going to launch a long three. That's too hard, no good. Long rebound comes to Bunnell. They get it ahead. Bunnell wants to drive. Left hand. Kicks it back outside to Ewan. They can run some clock now. Really no, no reason to attack the basket. Work for a good shot. 14 seconds on the shot clock, though. Here's a drive by Lassert. He's fouled. Non shooting foul. Just the fifth team foul on Fond du Lac, so the Huskies will inbound it. 20 second shot clock here in Division Three Juco basketball. Something that after doing high school games, not really used to here. We've got a timeout on the floor. We'll take one as well. Back in a moment, you're watching college basketball on Zaleski Sports. I really got to understand what, <clears throat> what a nurse is. Do they, do they focus on you? You know, do they make sure that you're comfortable? And, you know, that's what Chai has. It's the connection that he has, you know, my best interest in mind, always. Why wait another day? Let's take the next step together towards a better life. Now more than ever, it's crucial for your business to be able to ship your products safely and efficiently, both near and far. 
Purple Mountain Solutions is your local specialist for logistics and supply chain management in both public and private sectors. Bringing years of leadership, excellent attention to detail, and a dedication to the job at hand is what keeps Purple Mountain Solutions the leader in transportation, logistics, supply chain management, and warehousing. Get your products right where they need to be and put your trust in a business you can trust. Purple Mountain Solutions. Tom King back here. 227 to play in this state JUCO championship game, and the Huskies lead at 83-68. And the Huskies will have the basketball out of the timeout. Lassert's going to inbound it. Gets it into Ewan. Benell going to set a screen. Ewan steps back. Gets it to the wing. Helke looks inside, trying to get it over the top to Bunnell. Nothing there, so they kick it around the wing. Lassert gets it back right side. They're trying to post up Bunnell. Now Lassert gets it back on a three-ball attempt from the wing. That's short, no good. Falcons with the rebound. As we go under two minutes to play here, Ellis with it. Spin move by Smith. Long three launched by Ellis, that's no good. And Ewan with the rebound. Ewan, double team comes, he gets rid of it to Rosh, Nick Rosh. And now we're gonna get a reach and foul call. Foul's gonna be called on Ian Yops, that's his second. And it's bonus time, I believe, no, six team foul. D'Angelo Ingram is going to get in the game here for the Huskies. Former Wasa East player. And now we're going to get a whistle off the ball. They're going to get... Foul's going to be called again on Yops. He was battling for position with Rosh, and now Rosh is going to get free throws here. Freshman from Wasa West. Has two points on the night, but he goes to the line here. Sutton Transport in Weston is one of our sponsors. Locally and family-owned trucking company specializing in next-day LTL delivery and national volume LTL services. Rest assured of getting your freight to its destination safely and timely. Sutton Transport in Weston, fueled by 40 years of great service with a personal touch. Rush missed the free throw, but an offensive board for the Huskies. They get it inside of Bunnell off the glass, up and in. Chase Bunnell's got 16 in the second half, 18 in the game. So after a two-point first half, Bunnell has heated up here in the second half. Drive down the lane by Ellis. Scoop shot up and in. Tough shot for Mason Ellis. He got it to go. 85-70, a 15-point game, but just a minute 11 left. Now following the backcourt, it's going to send Ewan to the free throw line. So you make your free throws here and you win if you are the Huskies. Levi Ewan at the line. He's got 30 tonight including two for two from the free throw line. He'll shoot a bonus here. First one's up and in. Second one's on the way, got them both. 32 on the night for Ewan. Bunnell's night is done as it's Fox Klein who comes back into the game. So Bunnell, after a tough first half, really bounced back in the second and finished with 16 points, 18 points, 18 points on the night for Chase Bunnell. Spin move by Ellis, step back, or fall away jumper, that's no good, ball goes out of bounds, last touch by the Huskies. Falcons will keep it here with just 55 seconds remaining and a 17-point lead. Tyler Bishop is going to get into the game for Lassert. Lassert's night is done. 19 points for Ryan Lassert. Ryan Bishop, I make that Tyler Bishop, excuse me, sophomore from Winter up in the Northwoods. Dominique Carr has the basketball. He wants to take Bishop on the dribble. Kicks it to the wing. Rainbow three. That's no good. Ewan with the rebound. Ewan's going to hurry it ahead. We're down to 38 seconds to play in the game. 
Hands it off to Klein. They feed it to Bishop. He's going to drive. Lost the handle on it. Now gets it back and dribbled it on the baseline. Turned it over. And it will be the Falcons with the ball, bringing it ahead. 28 seconds remaining. Three ball launched. That's short for Z Evans. Rebound to the Huskies, and they can dribble this one out if they want with 19 seconds remaining. Shot clock is off. And Levi Ewan will dribble it out. And it's an impressive 17-point win here tonight for the UW-Stevens Point Wausau Huskies. They get the victory 87-70. to We'll take a timeout, come back, give you the numbers from this one, catch up with head coach Bill Gibbs. We'll do that next on Zaleski Sports. Tom King back here at UW-Stevens Point Wausau's Husky Dome where the Huskies conclude their season with the Division III JUCO Championship here tonight, beating Fond du Lac by a score of 87 to 70. Let's recap the scoring from this one. First of all, for Fond du Lac, 16 points for Mason Ellis. 12 for Arius Smith, but none in the second half. Five points for Aiden Camacho. Six for Ian Yaps. 12 points for Dominique Carr. 13 for Prince Robinson. Ashton Spencer had two. Just eight points for James Randolph, and he only had two points in the second half. They did a pretty good job defensively on the 6-7 Randolph in this one. Fond du Lac did a good job on the boards tonight. They had 86 shot attempts unofficially, 31 makes, five of seven from the line, and I only have them for two turnovers. I, I gotta believe they had more than that. I might have missed some, but only two turnovers for Fond du Lac in this one. The Huskies with four players in double figures led by Levi Ewan. He had 32, including 20 in the first half. 19 points for Ryan Lassert, 16 for Chase Bunnell, 14 of those coming in the second half. 11 points for Isaac Sutton, nine of those in the first half. Two points for Fox Klein, two for Nick Rosh, six for Max Helke and a couple of threes. A big one in the second half when the Falcons were closing in again. Huskies had double-digit leads three times in this game. They let two of them get away, but uh, the, th the third time they were able to build on their 10-point advantage and ended up winning by 17. Good shooting night for the Huskies. 34 of 62 from the field, 12 of 13 from the line. Unofficially, they did turn the ball over 14 times. With the win, Huskies conclude the season 11 and three. Fond du Lac concludes the season with a record of 11 and six. This is the Nasonville Dairy Post Game Show. Nasonville Dairy with fresh cheese curds. Made daily, get your cheese curds at Nasonville Dairy in Marshfield, Curtis or nasonvilledairy.com. 
We'll take a break, and I'll catch up with Coach Bill Gibbs. We'll do that next. You're watching College Basketball on Zaleski Sports. Masonville Dairy, family owned and operated, bringing you fresh cheese curds made daily, along with many other varieties of Wisconsin made cheeses and treats. Don't forget to check out our cheese and sausage trays for your upcoming parties and cheese and sausage gift packages for the holiday season or any other special occasion. Masonville Dairy, located just southwest of Marshfield on US Highway 10, NasonvilleDairy.com. Tom King back here on the Nasonville Dairy Post Game Show. We're with Husky head coach Bill Gibbs. Well, a game of runs. You had double-digit leads twice, and they got back in it, but the third time was a charm. You built a double-digit lead, and then added on. Yeah, you know, we've had a very productive team, and they're a bunch of great kids. Uh, sometimes we let it slip, but they know how to get it back really well. I think if I would have told you before the game that you'd be up at halftime, I think it was by what? Nine, nine points, and Chase Bennell only had two points, you would have been surprised, but you would have taken that. Yeah, you know, we actually even joked about that in the locker room. When I got in there, I told him that he owed us 22, because his season average is 24. Zach, uh, Levi Ewan, huge game tonight, 30 points in the first half. He really drove the bus for you tonight. Yeah, you know, Levi's been picking it up. Whenever Chase doesn't, Ryan can always score. I got a bunch of great scores in that first unit, and uh, they, they cover for each other all the time. Now, championship here in this league, or this in the state now for JUCO. Talk about this league and how the, the changes are coming, I guess, but uh, you're still going to have basketball at the at the two-year, or at the smaller campuses around the state. Oh, yeah, athletics is here to stay on the two-year campuses. Uh, we're, we're proud to keep supporting it, pushing it, and we're hoping to expand the league for the next year and years to come. Well, congratulations, Coach. Go enjoy it with your team. Thank you, Tom. Let's bring in uh, Zach Ewan now. Well, Zach Ewan comes in and joins us. You really had it going in that first half tonight. Yeah, I had it going. And my name's Levi, by the way, not Zach. Why did I call you Zach? <laughs> it's Levi. It was all, uh, it was, we got all, we were pretty slow to start a lot of turnovers, but we got going towards the end of the second half. You had a couple of big leads and then they got back into it, but that third time you got the big lead and were able to add on and uh, really got some defensive stops in the second half too. Oh uh, yeah, our defense is kind of what carried us through like playoffs and towards the end of the season. So that's kind of what we rely on, especially in playoffs. We relied on our defense to win our games. Especially with a team that has a lot more height than you did, you were able to handle that height. Right, we, we rotate well, we help each other out. We're, we're, we kind of, uh, we have like a collective defense, you know? So that's what we rely on. You know how the Highlight House thing works? Look up there. Well, how's you it go? Tell them your name, tell them you're in the Highlight House. My name's Levi and I'm in the Highlight House. <laughs> Thanks, Levi. Thanks. That's gonna wrap things up here tonight from the Husky Dome in Wausau where the uh, UWM you know, you Stevens Point Huskies get the win. They beat Fond du Lac by a score of 87 to 70. I'm Tom King, and you've been watching college basketball on Zaleski Sports.